Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at unstoppable, unbelievable, to the moon market. QQQ and SPY guys, we'll start off with that and then I'll take you over individual stocks as well. That is Microsoft, Apple, Google, Amazon, Meta and Netflix guys. So what's going on? Are you ready? Bears are demolished. Kaboom! guys bears are kaboom all right so before going into the in-depth technical analysis i want to show you a couple of things so let's go to i just want to show you oh well oh sorry uh never mind so yeah let's uh yeah i want to show you my swing bot and day trading bot so this is uh swing bot performance on kqq uh we got a buy signal today as well and then on the swing side and there's one partial sell Take profit position has also come on this. You can see the data on the left hand side of the table here. And then uh, day trading bot on QQQ. I showed you this when I was doing Tesla video as well. So um, yeah, this is also looking great. Um, you can see the data on the left side of the table, but we have been getting good buying position. And into the pullbacks, we are getting bought up and then riding the wave up. And then this is on SPY. You can see also on SPY after the dip, once the buying was confirmed, we got a good buying position on this. And also there's data of the last 30 trades as well on the table there. Even like yesterday, you can see we got good buying into the pullbacks and rode the way up into the profits. And again, all done by the bot as for these signals. Um, but yeah, you can manually exit out as well, up to you, like only educational tools. And then on SPY, this is 30 minutes of swing bot uh, today we well we had a buy on the swing side open quite few days ago but then today we got first partial sell on this as well uh, we again yeah there are red trades as well that is when the stop loss is hit as well in this buying position the stop loss wasn't hit we never got into that structural change and then uh, yeah today partial profit has come there's still remaining open position just like we have remaining open position on QQQ as well this just partial profits take profits coming in but that's on the swing side and then i already showed you the day trading part as well anyways if you need access to these tools links are in the description below i know many of you keep asking me on the email to show you this when i do the video so here it is but and thanks also many of you have joined so i really appreciate that guys uh, thanks for your support and all right so let's jump into the technical analysis and um yeah, let's turn on my universal indicator and let's go to the daily interval and let's start off with QQQ guys. So unstoppable, unstoppable, right? NVIDIA will be, oh sorry, NVIDIA will, video will also be coming out another one later today. And NVIDIA is just like skyrocketing, you know, but hey, tech stocks today are just super high up. But anyways, QQQ. So the last time when we were having a dip was at this area. 20 days moving average, but then bulls rotated it back again into the structure of 449. And since then, bulls have been holding it strong. Even yesterday, I talked about bulls are holding it strong above 20 days moving average. And guys, we just knocked out all time highs. We are at new all time highs. And the way this candle has come, it's not, it doesn't even look like a false breakout to the upside. It's a very real breakout, in my opinion. And this becomes now a new support, $460. It's a new support on QQQ. And yeah, that's the new support, guys. So anyways, anyways, yep. And when I was doing morning video, I told you I'm not even seeing a single sign of double top here in the price action, right? Because yeah, and yeah, we just went straight up. It's purely bullish, guys. As I said, 460 is just a pullback zone. Right now, I'm not seeing any price structure change to the downside. If I'll see it, I'll talk about it. I'm just not seeing any of it. It's just plain, pure bullish. Spy. Telling you, bears are knocked out. Yeah. All right. Spy. Yep. New all-time highs today, guys. And this was it. This is when this candle came. I told you bulls have rotated it back to the upside above the level of 524, right? That they held the structure bullish. And then this kept holding it 20 days moving average and boom, here you go. You know, strong move there guys. And even on hourly interval, no sign of downside. Well, there's a pullback 
that may come but this is a good support now 533 and also there is another good support 531 so yeah it's it's purely bullish guys i'm not seeing any price action structure that shows me any weakness i'm not seeing any weakness all right let's jump into microsoft now and microsoft what is it well so it was falling it broke the level at 417 went to the next level as well 404 and then over the weekend i talked about well microsoft hasn't confirmed bullishness on this red buying candle as well because structure was not yet fully bullish for that we had to get up a 417 but then we had another day uh when you see these wicks coming in at the bottom and that means it's buyers are stepping in trying to change the direction and then you see another day green candle then confirmed structure back again to the bullish 418 break upside kaboom to the upside so yep the pivot is confirmed and we are heading higher but yeah that was the level that i have said over the weekend as well and over my last videos 418 was it and yep it is bullish so going to the hourly interval uh yeah it is still purely bullish and we don't need this trend line anymore and uh right now yeah it will even stay bullish even if there's a pullback to 421 even if it comes down to 417 that's just a pullback and but yeah this thing is just bullish right now so yeah guys that's your microsoft i mean looking great right looking well it's not complicated to trade right now market is just like uh by the dip thing <laughs> But yeah, this sometimes, I mean, yeah, yeah, this is, market has just been very strong, but yeah, that's your Microsoft, Apple. So, all right, Apple is hitting almost very close to all-time highs, guys, and um, yeah, touching the overhead of the trend line, again, it's still bullish, any pullback to the level of 193 is just, it's bullish. The way to trade Apple is, well, yeah, intraday you can trade it by using my indicators as well. But on the swing side, yeah, these are the pivots and then it's just been going up and I'm pretty sure my swing bot has already a long position on this. But anyways, yeah, it's bullish, guys. It's bullish. Apple is bullish. Pullbacks can be just continue to go up. Google. So Google held itself above 20 days moving average, getting above pretty much 173 is again putting it in the bullish structure. Yeah, it's all, all in all the structure is still bullish guys on this thing. Let's see how high can it continue, but um, yeah, I'm not seeing any structure break to the downside. If from here Google fails to go all time highs and then it starts to break 175.59 cents, then continue below 172, then we might start to talk about structure break, but right now, no. The pivots have formed structure. If it was becoming bearish, these green candles changed the structure back again, rotated it to the upside, $172 level, $173 almost, thus marking a pivot, higher pivot. All right, uh, Amazon, let's take a look at that. Yeah, Amazon, guys, so I have an update as well on this because I had a short play on this, right? So I took some partial profits out down here and I've, I have been sizing out in these green candles. And yeah, I am fully out, even though this was a profitable position, but I'm fully out, whatever remaining position was it, I sized out already in the last two days. So yeah, I'm not no longer in this play. Um, profitable trade, but I was expecting much more downside, but it didn't come, but hey, that's the name of the game. You have to be adaptive to the changing market conditions, uh, change of the structures, and then, yeah, that's why I like to size and size out. All right, still profitable, but didn't quite as how I wanted, much more move, but anyways. So Amazon right now, again, is it's not bearish right now. Struct it has regained the structure above $180. I wanted to buy into it, into the ETF that it is, but I was waiting for more pullback and I just didn't get it. But anyways, th there will be times and opportunities that will come. Uh, it's a game, you know, on the long-term investment, it's, the, it's all about patience. All right, so yeah, it is bullish, guys, right now. I know it's below 20 and 50 days moving average still. You can, that, if you don't want to take any bullish, that's fine, because I get it, it's below 20 and 50 days moving average. But the way this structure is already looking to me, it, it has already changed the structure 180. But the extra confirmation is above 182 and 72 cents. Uh, anyways, tomorrow, if we go red 180 and below, that's yeah you know some downside may come come that's the level right pretty much that's why i'm saying any position that is taken can be taken on the the direction it is in with the stop loss on the other side 
meta all right so yep that was it guys told you in the last video that can it continue higher well if it gets above 50 days moving average yes it will go higher and it did that and it's been going up so it's very so bullish yeah now any pullback to 485 just a pullback this is bullish this can continue higher um yeah market is just superbly strong superbly strong this is yeah some yeah <laughs> wow well great guys great good stuff market is great all right so now let's take a look at netflix so netflix as per my last video when i did it i talked about 624 level as long as we are above it that's just going to be a pullback in the overall structure and then yep look at it got bought back up structure never changed fully to the downside and yeah intraday shorts were coming that's fine uh, but yeah all in all structure is still bullish like if i take it to the hourly interval and i was talking about that guys you can just follow this trend line on the intraday side right once we break out of it it's going to start to go change the structure and that was it once we started changing it that was it intraday kaboom well to the upside i mean right and then on the structure side you had the reference that we are still above 624 structure was not bearish that was just a pullback zone right and we went higher all right well guys that's it for this video if you found it helpful valuable hit the like subscribe and with that i'll see my next videos take care guys bye and if you need access to my tools links are in the description below all right bye